Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to all my new followers. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about the Nikon FA, which is a wonderful camera. And I chose this camera for some very specific reasons, which we'll get into. This camera was released in 1983 and it wasn't very well received because it was sort of the techno camera, very modern, actually a technological marvel. And up to this date, it's still a very competitive camera because it had the first matrix meter, the AMP, automatic multi-pattern. Now, this camera is certainly still very competitive. In my opinion, it approximates perfection for a very specific reason, because of its adaptability. That has a lot to do with the Nikon F mount and with its dedicated motor drive. Now, no camera is ever perfect, <laughs> certainly not this camera. It doesn't have the automatic exposure lock. Would it have had that? It definitely would have been the perfect camera or definitely as close to perfection as you can get it. Now, this camera has certain very specific features which attracted me or which led me to buy this camera. One of those features are is the one you know the one two hundred and fifty of a second shutter speed that you can uh, use in the studio. It kept me away from the F3. I was looking at several different cameras: the FM, the FE, the FE2, the FM2, the F3. But certainly the F3 one sixtieth of a second shutter sync speed isn't enough for me in the studio. I want to be able to shoot handheld. I want. I don't want to be have to be locked down to mounting my camera on a tripod in the studio. That just doesn't work for me. It's not spontaneous. It takes some of that spontaneity away from me. So that was definitely a feature. Now, the FE2 and the FM2 definitely have one 250th of, of a second. Sync speed, also the FM3A, which I was looking at, definitely has that. But this camera has a phenomenal meter. It really is fantastic once you figure it out you always get perfect exposures. You just have to learn that meter. I think that intimidates a lot of people, but once you learn that meter, it's fantastic. You certainly still have um, center weighted meter. If you push this little lever and then turn it so you see a little red dot here, then you have a center weighted meter, which has a ratio of 75 to 25, which is fairly aggressive and you can almost use it as a spot meter. And I've certainly used it in, in that capacity. Um, another feature that I really, really liked that attracted me was the motor drive. In this form factor without the motor drive, it's fantastic as a sort of walk around, little snaps here and there. You're on vacation. You don't want to have to worry about too, too much. And, um, or documenting life, which I do, it's all usually in this form factor. Wonderful, not too big. Certainly it has heft to it due to all the electronics and the very well-built nature of this camera. It has a lot of, you know, it has an all-metal chassis. It does have the plastic top cover and bottom cover, which, um, yeah, throws a lot of people off. I don't know why, because if you look at the Nikon F100, which is considered one of the best cameras ever, great value, everybody raves about it. You go online, you read nothing but great reviews, and I have an F100, but it has a plastic outer shell, just like this one, my D700, fantastic cameras. Nothing but raves online, people rave about it, plastic outer shell. So this camera is, is, has that type quality outer shell. It does not feel cheap whatsoever, this camera. But once you mount the, um, or once you mount it on its dedicated motor drive, the MD15, um, it really becomes a very professional experience. You do have to remove its grip that you have, which is another wonderful feature. I do suggest once you do remove it, you put it up somewhere where it, um, where you know where you can locate it. If you have little kids or you have a dog, this thing is gone. And try, and you know, without it, it isn't the prettiest <laughs> camera visually. So I suggest you put it up somewhere and um, you make sure that it doesn't get lost. Um, but once you mount the dedicated motor drive, 
which is eight double A batteries in there. This does add some heft, which I don't mind. It really becomes a professional setup. And that's really what I like about the FA. It's this modular aspect. And now it, it, it just has that feeling of a professional camera. Uh, you know, if you ever get a chance to hold one, it's fantastic. It's, it does have some heft. And often you'll hear online, yeah, it's so heavy, I can't walk around all day. Well, if you're a professional, I mean, I get it. If you walk around all day with a camera, most of us, let's be honest, we're not going to walk around all day with the camera. A couple hours at best, and then we're done. And I can certainly walk around with this camera a couple of hours with the motor drive. I love it. It's just phenomenal. Now, another um, aspect which I love is... With the motor drive, you don't have to extend the lever to activate the meter. It just works right away. And um, so therefore, it's really great. Also in vertical position with this uh, um, shutter button that you get. And it's ready to go. You don't have to fiddle, you know, a fidget with this here. And um, it's, it's just beautiful. I love it in this form factor and in... The video where I shot with my son, you can see that I have it on there. And another reason that I um, really like the motor drive is because now you can attach this, um, ex this um, um, remote trigger, electronic remote trigger for nighttime photography. And that's one of the main reasons and, and listen to that sound. Isn't that, you know, for all you ASMR folks. Oh, isn't that delicious? Oh, fantastic. But um, for nighttime photography, this is just about the perfect camera. Why? Because of its meter. It stays open. If it has to stay open for three hours, it will stay open for three hours. It is just infallible. I've never had an issue with it at night. It might sound a little um, uneventful, a little anticlimactic <laughs> that um, I use its meter for nighttime photography, but I know exactly what it does and I get perfect exposures and it's just a wonderful camera. Now, without the motor drive, yeah, you do lose that ability to, um, let me remove it here, you do lose that ability um, to um, just shoot without having to pull out that lever. But I still love the camera in that position, it's or in that condition, in that factor, form factor, I should say, because it's just a wonderful camera. Um, we also know, guys, that in Texas we've had the snow and a very uh, rare condition here. So, and I've used this camera to go out there in the snow, and I've had no issues. It uh, performed wonderfully in sub-zero conditions. It's just uh, been a great camera and so, so buttery smooth. So buttery smooth. Fantastic. It's just so buttery. This camera, it does. I do believe that um, it needs a CLA. I'm going to send it in soon. But it's just, it's still wonderful. Now, um, I suggest that you go to a gentleman on um, YouTube called David Hancock. He has a very in-depth review on how to use the camera, the ins and outs, and every button and, and all of that. This isn't it. This is just why I bought this wonderful camera. I will link him below. It's just a wonderful uh, camera. Now, we all know that when we pick a body, because really the lens is what makes the image. We know that with um, SLRs, with um, removable lens SLRs. Well, there really isn't anything else uh, with an SLR, but... With um, these modular systems, when you look at a body, um, we lo I look at three things. Uh, number one, the um, meter. Is the meter accurate? Do I have accurate shutter speeds? And the ergonomics. And Nikon ergo ergonomics really um, attracted me right off the bat. And yeah, that's why I went with this. Um, yeah, the meter, it, it, the, and the, I'm a little bit of a nerd, a little bit of a geek, believe it or not, a little bit of a closet geek. 
And so the um, technology behind this camera greatly attracted me. Yeah, if it does break down, you're left to cannibalize another one um, in order to replace the electronics because they don't make that anymore. You can't send it in. That is the risk you take, but I've had no issue so far with my FA. And outside of that, it just is a wonderful camera. The wonderful leatherette, really that 80s build quality. Um, solid, solid like a, you know, like a proverbial rock, especially with the motor drive on there. It's just a camera that has served me really well. It's hard to not pick it up. It's a camera that I want to pick up. And that's the best camera that you can have. A camera that you want to pick up, that you want to shoot with, that you want to create with. Outside of that, guys, I'm going to leave you with some of my favorite photos that I've ever taken with the FA. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you in the next video.